Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Gundam Battle Assault 2. You know, when you first boot up this game, there are only five mobile suits you can pick from the screen in front of you. Their extra three are unlocked through methods of which I can't outright remember. But the point is, I have unlocked them. So, I guess I should go through with actually going through the street modes of those three. <sighs> anyway, let's start with Togi's three. Tongi's 3 seems to be a piece of craft. It's a mixed match of the original Tongi's, which was the original mobile suit design of the After Colony Century era mobiles, all After Colony Century mobile suits, and being the third slime had the additions of a heat rod from the Epion, which was the previous suit Miliario had been piloting before he got the Tall Beast 3. And this huge can, this huge Mega Cannon fucker. Mega cannon. Which I guess exists only to put it on par with the Wing Zero's firepower. Otherwise, as far as I can tell, it's still just the Tall Beast, except with a few slight differences. Well, yeah, it, it, it just, just. <laughs> Heat Rod, Beam Saber, Flying Tackle, Mega Cannon Plus. Alright, I can use. There are two ways to utilize the Mega Cannon. A at least as a gun. Ready? I got you. There's the yellow shots, and then there's the green shots. I, I can't. Which is the plus? Ow. Pay attention. You want to throw out the heavy firepower? We'll do it your way. Mega Cannon! Now I'm trying to remember. He actually destroyed a natural resource satellite with this, I think. I'm not quite sure how big the resource satellite in question is. But hey, he destroyed one. Even the size of a colony, for all I know. And, you know, they ultimately did a lot of that in. They had a lot of weapons that ultimately ended up doing that in the colony universe. Alright, come on! Blam him! Eat cannon! Yeah! <sighs> God, I hate dealing with hand counters because of those stupid. Always throwing long range stuff at you. Okay, so the Mega Cannon Plus is a. Okay, it's the kick version. Huh? Ready? Well, what did I just do there? Okay, I can tell the def definitely the kick version is better because it actually punches straight through, here regardless of whether they're defending it. And it also seems to waste a lot of ammo. Completely fucking missed. Ow. 
So, why am I fighting the double Zeta Gundam? Ow. Ow. You know, for a while, I thought the Double Zeta Gundam... You know, when I was first playing the first Battle Assault game, I thought the Double Zeta Gundam was some sort of really oddly altered heavy arms due to the fact of that double cannon on the one side. Ow, ow, ow! Okay, fuck it! Mega Cannon! Mega Cannon! Mega Cannon! Yeah! Try that on size, you big thing. Leave me alone! Yeah! Ah, God damn. Okay, catcher time. Gotta drink here quick. Ready? Fine! Get Stay down on the ground where I can shoot the fuck out. I also learned the Vernier mode, which, honestly, not a good idea. At least if you want to stay defended. If you would... If you go into Vernier mode, you can't actually, uh, guard. Because instead you're just flying back. Why it's usually good to wait for your opponent to go into their Vernier mode before... Uh, using your super attack, because they can't defend against that if they're flying around. Speaking of you can't defend... Ready? You suck. Okay, I suck because I completely missed. Fuck. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And there we go. <sighs> Once again, this seems to be going too well for my own good. I'm not really lying that this is going as what the hell? Trays already? I shouldn't be going up against trays yet. Should I? Duh. I'm concerned. No, it's actually interesting. Trey's using the Epion because in the series, he never did. The only mobile suits he ever used were Leo's 
a couple of Leos, I think. And the Tall Geese, too. Which wasn't actually that much different from the Tall Geese 1, except for the head design and the coloration. But he never actually did pilot the Epion. Even though he made it. I've never actually seen Pilot the Epion. From what I can tell, he does sort of... He was definitely familiar with the way... with its zero system capabilities. Well, he designed it, duh. Well, you have to know about it. Actually, it's not necessarily the zero system so much as the Epion system, but given that it functions exactly the same as the zero system... Oh! Quite sure where he came up with the idea or with it or maybe he got a hold of the plan. I don't know. How did Trace come up with the system for the Epion? Ready? That's the that's the one thing that I never really got clear was that somehow Trace ended up making the system for the Epion. I'm not 100 percent clear. Did he did the Trace faction somehow further the system's design information to him after their Research on it or something? I don't know. Okay, bugger this. Mega Cannon time. It's probably going to miss entirely. Yep. God, quit defending. Ah, uh, that could have been my chance. I don't think this is gonna end well. Yep, I did. Miss! God damn it, I wanted it to miss. Take it! Mega Can! Damn it! Yes, there. Oh boy, I was tense there for a moment. Okay. God damn it. Valdor. Or Valdor, whatever. Is that really the Hydra God? There are so many unexpected things in this world. You see before you now. Yeah. Ready? Now. Hi! I was saying in a previous part how there's really no need to worry so much about the legitimacy of the storyline in the Genom universe of the street battles in the after colony universe. And this is definitely proof of it because this is basically 
a crossover that really never happened during the show. This is... The Hydra Gundam wasn't ever in the show or any form of visual media out except a manga. It was from the, uh... I don't remember the name of this manga, but it was some sort of... Uh, this is a side story to Gundam Wing, that's all I really remember about it. Oh, uh, fuck you! Mega Ken. Take Mega Ken! Ah, I hate you! Now, wait a minute. Ah, shit. I had a thought there. For a moment, I thought I saw something earlier on in the battle. Hydra Gun. Fuck you, bugger! Ready? TL's Impulse, that's what it's called. I just remembered it off the top of my head. Okay, I think the Mega Cannon Plus can actually penetrate his fucking shield. I'm not quite sure if it does damage. Can pray. And my prayers are completely finished because it did absolutely fucking nothing. Because I missed, I wasted all my fucking ammo. Damn it! Fucking hate the Hydra! Fuck! Ah! You know, I should have seen this fucking I really should have seen this fucking coming. I got through the whole game without fighting this fucker, and it comes up now! Now! I'm not even getting close here! Fucking hell! No, 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 no! It was so fucking close there! God fucking damn it all! The fucking hell of you piece of garbage shit! But wait! you've tasted victory. I'm sure you'll be back. <laughs> Ooh, finally, that's... Follow her stupid Stupid bean shield! I'm stupid.